whole army down on our heads. You don't know what I've been through to find you. You'll have to trust me. Do you pity the humans? So, Sersha, I have to say, I had the pleasure of, of actually chatting with your co-stars probably like six months ago, and they filled me in on how you brought these two characters to life, and they told me that you actually had a earpiece yeah. in your ear where you were listening to Melanie when you were playing Wanda. And you nailed it. It was extraordinary. Wow. I have no idea how you did this, but I would love to hear, you know, for you, what was it like having this challenge as an actor? I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a big draw for me to get to play two different characters mm -hmm. in the one film. And I was wondering how they were going to bring that onto screen and how they were going to show... Um, the journey that they that they're both taking here within the one body, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Yeah. So basically, I mean, like getting to do scenes with myself and listening to dialogue that I had pre-recorded and trying to react to that and stuff like that was really. It was really good fun. It was just like talking to yourself. Yeah, it's a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, I, I couldn't. Imagine, I mean, I couldn't know? imagine that. Yeah. Ever happening again. So. And I definitely noticed some little intricacies about the different characters. Good. Um, what were you? What, what did you have planned, or what do you hope that people notice? I noticed the accents, for example, are different. Yeah. Accents, yeah, and um, the way they hold themselves is different as well. I hope you can see that on screen, like mm -hmm. the physicality of them and um, posture. I think is something that's always very important for a character. How how they hold themselves, how they walk, things like that. Wanda's is very kind of composed and more ladylike, and just out of necessity, really. Melanie has become a real fighter and somebody who's had to run from place to place. So that kind of reflects how you know how they hold right. themselves as well. Exactly. So let's get down to real talk. What all of our viewers want to know is yeah, the boys, you have right? the dream job. Yeah. Of course you had to kiss two boys in this movie. Um, <laughs> it was terrible. It was terrible. What was it really like? Because I know this was actually your first romantic role, right? Well, yeah. The, I mean, it was the first one where the romance was really the focus of the story. I've, do, I've done... Um, scenes like that before mm -hmm. but it's never been it's never been such a massive part of the story and um, so it was fine I mean I had met the guys before like a few years ago so I had I knew them already right. um, and I was lucky because we all get on really well and we're very comfortable with each other so it's always going to be uncomfortable on, on that very first take but then you kind of just have to get over it and another day at the office it. yeah it kind of is I mean especially with Max we had a lot of that to do together so after a while it was just like you know another scene really yeah. we have a big young female teenage viewership who yeah. are such big fans of this book who I'm sure you've heard from on Twitter and just out and about um, yeah. what's it been like sort of stepping into this role and having that fan base it's been exciting you know I mean they're all really lovely people as well the ones that I've met they've they've been very um, positive about it being made into a film and all of us being cast in it and all that kind of stuff and um, I think with with a film like this and with um, Stephanie's books the fans really are so important um, and they've They've really created the buzz around this film. I mean, it's you know it's because of them, and um, and so it's nice to hear that they've responded in such a positive way to it. We find her. We find the resistance. She could bring a whole army down on our heads. You don't know what I've been through to find you. You'll have to trust me. the humans. I miss everything about her. I gotta know. Is Melanie in there?